What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Dead Island, the Definitive Edition. Um, as I mentioned with the first one, if you guys are enjoying more of this, I would not mind doing an entire um, run through this entire game. So just keep letting me know if you're enjoying it, and we shall do that. Right now, I'm kind of using it as a way to kind of get to February, because I do have a series planned for February. But if you guys are enjoying this, I do not mind doing this and the series for February, too, because, you know, I got to keep options available for YouTube. If something doesn't do good, you got to be able to jump to something else, you know, etc., etc. So, for now, yeah, Cinemoy, I got it. I was just talking to the people for a second, if you don't mind. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I'll need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Of course I can do that for you, Cinemoy. Get to the lifeguard tower, 600 experience, let's go ahead and start now. I'm here. Take the beach, it's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. Alrighty. I kind of remember this mission because what we're going right now is like the very first kind of like base that you get for a while. Now, this is my favorite part of the game right here, the island part. Um, later on, you go to like a village, you go to like a army station or something like that, some sort of like abandoned bunker. But this right here is like my favorite part, the, the island. So many fun things to do over here, just the entire locale, it's so great. But later on, the areas do t tend to like, you know, be hit or miss. But the island part is so much fun in this game. Alright, so we have to go 194 up that way, so I guess we are indeed taking the beach as, um, Cinemoy just mentioned. I like how this zombie was impaled by this umbrella. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Like, I'm not even sure how you manage that one right there. At least it's getting shade in the afterlife, right? Alrighty, there's a couple of weapons here. I believe we're kind of stocked up on weapons. Uh, we also got the Nail Plank mod. Excuse me? That zombie dead or just chilling over there? We got the Nail Plank mod at the end of the last video. Oh, you're alive. Yeah, yeah, don't don't give me that, Walker. You're totally alive. Um, we got the Nail Plank mod at the end of the last video, which lets me modify my weapons to um, have nails on them, which is fairly good. The problem is that we do need a certain type of weapon for it, and any the weapons that I have at the moment are pretty terrible, so I cannot mod any of those. We have to wait until we get like a baseball bat or a certain type of weapon. Excuse me, is there a reason why you're slapping me in the face, Zambro? You're supposed to want to eat me, not beat me up. A rusty pipe, that'll do as well. Nails, da ha ha! That's good. Nails mean we're one step closer to what I want to get to. Got some more cash over here. Gotta pick up all the money too, because you need the money to modify your weapons. Why? I don't know, man. But that's just what this game does. You want to modify your weapons? Pay it up. Huh? Hi. Oh no! Oh. I thought I could be cute and just like close the door on her before we uh, could leave, but I wasn't cute enough. I mean, I was cute, I just wasn't fast enough, unfortunately. What do we have here? Flimsy wrench? Sure. Eh, whatever, let's see if we could get one of these to happen. That's not good, and what about here? Nothing here either. Alright, well, let's go. We got stuff to do, baby. 140 up this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed by how the game looks, like... Oh, I forgot you could kick in the game, too. Yeah, this is like, to get them off of your back and whatnot. I also believe there's, like, skills for kicks, so you could actually get really, really good at killing zombies with kicks. But it requires, like, certain skills to level up down the line. Alrighty, hi. Like, for instance, right now, the way I was rushed, I believe that's when you could actually kick them to make them go back. But as I mentioned, it's been a while since I last played, so I gotta kinda, kinda get used to the game again. But if they rush you and you kick, it's like a way to, like, make them stumble and then just bash their heads in. Alright. Oh. Well, that's a big problem happening over there, huh? Now, do I want to get involved with this over here to try to help a... a human? I guess we will. Let's do this one at a time. No, 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 no. Now, at the moment... We haven't run into, like, the tough zombies. I remember there being, like, this really tough zombie in this game. Can we actually get that hit? Thank you. Like, he's like some sort of, like, you know, bodybuilder zombie dude that you're supposed to, like, beat up only in the head. Like, the only thing you can actually hurt him in is in the head. I kind of remember that guy, and I believe there's also, like, a juggernaut type of, um, dude that just rushes you. As I mentioned, it's been, like, what, six or seven years since I last played this, so my memory is a bit flimsy. But I do remember liking the enemies in this game. Did my weapon break? Yes, it did. Dead man walking. 
27. All right, buddy, I got you saved here. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you hadn't come along. You, you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the Water Sports Rental Kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. Alrighty. Um, is that something I'm doing now? Because I'm already, like, on a mission, dude. Or will you just be here when I'm available? Yeah. Okay, I guess he's gonna hang out here, maybe, and then when I'm ready to go, we'll... There's a table in sight you can use to repair your weapons. Oh. Oh, for re Oh! You want. Well, thank you. As a matter of fact, I probably will. Get some of this water, take those nails for effect. Cool. Alright, I guess we'll just do this here meanwhile. Large battery. I have to get some rest. Got another fact. The Benoit Herald excerpt number two. We'll probably read that later. Okay. I'll rest up and then head out to meet my wife. And here is, yeah, I believe this is where you can, um, fix your weapons and also upgrade them if I'm right. Um, upgrade, let's see. Anything available for upgrade? Yes. Um, the problem is that we have terrible weapons, so it seems like a really poor use of my money to upgrade weapons that I just break. Yeah. I won't do that right now. But at least we can now upgrade the weapons. Like, everything I have at the moment is not really too good. Who's this? Did you make it to the bungalow? Let's open this up. It's number 20. Remember? The insulin is in the bathroom. On the shelf. I need it quick, brother. I don't know who that was. I would have died out there without you. This is about to break, so let's get rid of it. And... Uh, I guess we'll just pick up this knife meanwhile. Now, before we leave... The knife got equipped instantly? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm crazy about that idea. More of a blunt expert. But sure, let's give the knife a try here. Even though we're going blunt status. Alright. 9D up there. At least now we have the workbench, which is fine. And so I throw a weapon away, I'll take this. Ooh. Well, that was a one-hit kill, which is fine. Ten bucks off of you. What was that? What the fuck? Why? Oh, you Jesus! Okay, let's kick Falcon. Get down there. Alrighty. I think we're gonna start using our kicks now. These zombies are getting really, really aggressive. Um, I really don't like this knife. <laughs> I love my range. Let me get back to my broomstick, baby. It's not that great, but at least it has a little bit more range than a frenzy knife. Where are those screams coming from? It's freaking me out, dude. What the? I don't remember. I don't remember this from the last time I played, man. I know it's been a lot of years, but jeez. Why gotta be so creepy about stuff, dude? Alright. Let's come up through here. We're going up that way. We're still on course. All these little areas over there, we can check them out for side quests later. And also to just, uh... Just in general to find some couple of supplies. I will try to focus mainly on the main quest for this run, but we might do a couple of side quests, and if I have to do any sort of, like, farming for items, I'll try to do it off-camera or something. Alright, let's see here. 51 up that way. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So that's the stairs we've got to take. How do I know that? Well, all the zombies are there, obviously. Ooh, a debilitating... Ah, Jesus! No, 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 not right now. I was trying to pick up a wrench, dude. Okay. Now, what are you? Okay. Um, can you please let me grab that? Thank you. Hi. Well, I got a wrench now, baby. No, you don't. Bring it on down. Oh, ho, ho. Alrighty. It's all coming back to me. Ooh. Hi. I could tell where your um, infection started. It was your forearm. At a level up. Good. Um, let's see. Does the game pause when you're in leveling? I hope so. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to more combat, I'm gonna say. I'm a heavy hitter, after all. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright. So I'm pretty sure we have to go up through here. Use a card reader to get to a lifeguard tower. La, let's see. A card reader? Nobody told me anything about a card reader. Are you dead? You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Just making sure. Heavy pipe. Come here, buddy. Come here. Don't, don't, don't just, um, try to seem cool in front of your zombie friends, right? Get on out of here. Kick him. Kick him while he's down. Oh, 
Ah, you tried to do your thing, didn't you? But I got you just in time. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, God! Dude, you weren't supposed to be alive. Oh my God. Yo, man, why is this game so creepy suddenly? Of course, I did play this with a couple of friends who were just like goofing around the entire time, but oh my God. Different story when you're playing alone. So this is the tower. How can I kill you behind the fence? That'd be great. If I could kind of cheese you. No cheesing. Alright, here we go, guys. We gotta clear out the lifeguard tower. Get a kick in there, get a kick. There you go. Bring it down. Alrighty. This wrench is, um, doing good work for us right now. Yeah, that's gonna be our first, um, safe area right here. You can kill multiple enemies by exploding a propane canister near them. Try right, throwing your weapon at them. I guarantee you guys this is gonna blow up in my face. Not, not literally, but I'm gonna fail. But I'm gonna give it a try. So we gotta throw this and then throw the knife at it, which is fine. I don't care about the knife. Nope. Oh, baby, it actually worked! <laughs> have you ever heard of a propane gas canister going off by a th knife throw? Well, I haven't, but hey, it happened here and it's fine. All fine by me. Let's pick up this rusty pipe to replace that. Very good. Alright, cool. Yeah, as I mentioned, when my first run, I played as Logan, who is the throwing knives, uh, throwing weapons expert. But, again, that was a very long time ago. There's a tower. Yo, I think we got this. I think we might have to clear out the tower itself, but I think for the most part we got this. Alright. Let's pop you open. Zombie. You don't do that to the human, you just want to eat him. I guess he's trying to soften up the meat first, you know. This butcher did a terrible job, I gotta soften it up myself. Why are you so extra angry? What's your deal? You're not the tough zombie I was talking about earlier, right? You might be. You oh, he's a thug. And you have a wrench. Get out of here with that noise. Okay, look. Your friend's gotta die first. This might be the tough zombie I told you guys about. The one that get only hurt by hitting in the head. Like, if he hits you, I believe he just knocks you back. So, um... This is fine. I just want to get you out of the way first. Thank you. Yeah, this might be the zombie I told you guys about, the really tough guy. Let's pump up my energy just in case. Yeah. When he hits you, he just knocks you back that way. So freaking annoying. This is probably where I shouldn't use that propane gas canister. Any more of those out here? No? Okay. You're just so annoying to take down. So you swing... ...once... ...twice... Oh yeah, so then when you start doing the, the yelling, that's when I'm supposed to attack. Alright. One... Uh-huh. Broke. Okay, he's broke his head now. Go, go for it. He's, ye he's just yelling like an idiot. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo. And those only get more tougher. They're just really annoying because every time they hit you, they knock you back. Oh, I believe I could have blown this up too. Hmm, maybe? Can I? Let's see. Yep, I could have blown that up too. Alrighty, well... Falcon, you gotta pay attention to your surroundings, dog. Anything back over there? No? More zombies inside of here, though. Twenty dollar dues? That's creepy right there. <laughs> oh, that shadow itself is so creepy. Damn, baby! I'm sorry, you gotta go down. You look pretty good even as a zombie, but you gotta go down. Um, okay, you're super strong as well. Ooh. This infected over here? A lot stronger than what I'm used to now. Flexible hose. Alright, there's stuff in there, but I don't think we can get through here just now. Oh boy. <laughs> Pick, please click. Okay. There's a zombie behind me. Like, I'm so scared of going forward because I don't want to get ganged up. That's a good crit. Alright. Uh, oh my god. Let's turn on my flashlight. 
I know I have one. As much as I'm loving the, the shadow effect over here, it's a bit too dark now. You're dead. This is like the, apparently the scout from Team Fortress 2 or something. Uh, seven bucks. Deodorant. Which is really good, you know, you don't think about deodorant in a zombie apocalypse, but hey, do you want to stink the entire time in a zombie apocalypse? I don't think you do. You want to survive, but you want to smell good at the same time. Hi. Oh yeah, you spotted me, didn't you? Okay. He's gonna kick in the face there. That's what's up. Yeah, if I'm right, aren't you supposed to kick them when they're down? That's probably the best time to actually kill them if I'm right. Because the kicks do seem to get a lot more crits than just bashing their heads in. Got another fact, too. And I think we just unlocked, like, a teleportation area. You see that little, um, fast-forward symbol on the map? I think that's the fast teleport, if I'm right. Anything useful. All right. Let's keep ourselves nice and healthy here. This is gonna be tricky. Yeah, one at a, one at a time, preferably. No? All right. Oh, butcher's knife! Put that, put that butcher's knife down, what's wrong with you? Breaker? I must crush you! Stamina, stamina, stamina. Hurry up. We're good. Stamina back. There you go. Yeah, I gotta tell you, the zombie's got a little bit of behind under. No kidding on that one, huh? <laughs> zombie Falcon, are you checking out Zombie Booty? I'm checking out Zombie Booty. Ooh, we got the good one right there. That's some good money. Flashlight went off. All right. I think there's like one more zombie to kill. Upstairs. That's gonna be kind of dark for a second, guys. Let me just have my flashlight regenerate a little bit here. Believe me, it's super dark for me too. I can only imagine on YouTube how dark this will be. Energy drink, all right. We're topped off. Homemade cleaver. It's fairly strong. My weapon's about to break, so you know what? Get on out of here. Switch over to rusty pipe. There we go. Alright, let's go for the last one. You were bashing this in, but apparently that's not gonna open up anytime soon. I can't carry you. I was hoping we could blow you up. Although you're a fire hydrant, so I don't think you'll actually explode. We're not done yet. Kind of close. We get turn this off now. Unless we have some more light up here. Now these things, uh, apparently I can't aim at them, so you can't blow them up. Two more zombies left over. They're apparently feasting away. That's fine. You guys feast me while I. Oh, how did you spot me? Why I made all the noise in the world? Apparently these zombies have amazing senses. Get over there. What's your problem? Bring that booty down. You too, my friend. Nice crit hit. Get some of that stamina back. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez, Louise! Very sneaky. Well played. Stamina, stamina, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Man, that guy just scared the hell out of me. Stupid lifeguard. That should be it. Scary music's gone. Let's top ourselves off. That was fairly good. Did a pretty good job here for my first time back with some really serious stuff happening. Not that it's like a difficult game. I mean, it, it, it wasn't difficult for me, but I played multiplayer, so... Maybe in solo you have a, more of a chance of getting like completely overwhelmed. Give me get those seven bucks off of your pocket, baby. It's my money now. To the victor go to spoils. A clamp? Uh, now we're, we're, we're loaded up on weapons at the moment. You're not gonna come alive, are you? Oh, yeah you were! Sucks for you. Sucks for you. And we'll call Cinnamoy, and we're done here. And this is our traveling thing. Sweet. Cinnamoy, get over here! I knew you could do it. Hang tight, okay? We're coming right now. Everybody pack up! 
We're on our way. Watch the road. We'll be there soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, in case you're new to the game, there's cars in the game too. Which are really good. Really good, especially for traveling really far and for taking out hordes as well. I like how Sinamoy is like our dad, nice and he's job, just very mate. proud. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. If help don't come soon. We're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. A lot of people here need help. Go talk to them and see what you can do. Alrighty, and all those will be um, quests for us to undertake. So we have a lot to do. So before we run off. Let's, I want to pick up that knife that he just um, handed me, or cleaver, whatever the hell it was. Cinnamoy, relax. I got it, okay, buddy? I got it. Don't get too overwhelmed with the asking for help here. So something terrible's got to go. Uh, I guess... I mean, the knives are strong, but I just don't really like them too much, so... Drop that. You looking for help? Hunt them down. See what they need. Got it. Yeah, I got it, dude. So, we're done with him over here for now. We can fast travel as well. Got some weapons over here. Now we gotta talk to some people. Apparently there's a uh, shop downstairs? What do you mean a shop? I mean, I like that we have here like a crafting station so I could up my weapons and stuff like that. I don't believe we can still use the nail plank mod. I don't think we have a proper weapon for that too, but what's that shop thing that I just saw here? Hank! Who's selling stuff? Sit through here? Well, that doesn't open up. Where the hell is this at? This doesn't ring a bell whatsoever, so I'm kind of confused about it. Oh, you! I heard this scourge came from out of space. Oh, so I can sell the terrible stuff that I have and buy stuff of you. Consumables, modifications as well, inventory. All right, cool, excellent. You got some good stuff over here. Malicious wooden baton that's already upgraded. Awe-inspiring heavy brass knuckles. All right, cool. Well. We're out of time with this video, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to look at these items and see if I pick anything up. We'll come back next one, and as you can see in the map, we got lots to do. So we'll pick something over here and go at it. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Again, if you are, let me know. If you guys do keep the interest in the series, I'll do the entire playthrough. So far, I am totally digging this again. It's all coming back to me now. Are you dead? No, you're just sick or tired or something. I don't know. Jack? Not getting any ideas, all right? I'll catch you guys next time.